Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? So, um, <laughs> I was, um, so very matter-of-factly, so sternly, it totally gone. Like, my mind is blanker than blank. So... I'll be back maybe hold on <laughs> all right so hang on all right what's the sense in having a bunch of money like Unless you're using it to help other people. I'm hearing self-sacrificing. But what do you mean by that? What do you mean self-sacrificing? I, I mean, I, I know what comes to my mind, but there's other, there's so many different facets to that. I keep looking up. So many different facets to that. Self-sacrificing, like... I just was watching this thing on Johnny Depp and that's what came to me. I'm like, man, if I had money like, like that, say like Johnny Depp, I don't know if he has a lot of money or not, but you know, he's a star. You would think something, some status somewhere that with that kind of status and that kind of money that it would easily be attainable for you know, like for me. To do all the things God shows me in my fairy tale life. Maybe that's why I've always had this I believe in fairy tales. There's that little spark in me of that little girl that's like, I believe in fairy tales. Because that's how God shows it to me. It's like a fairy tale. Like, good always wins. Love always wins. And it's the kindness of the heart of these princesses. It's the kindness and, and the love and the self-sacrificing, you know, that they are. And they go through so much shit. But love always wins. I was just showing a card that I have written out. And it's, you know, God. And then it's love always wins. And it's L. And I have the, an L and the A and the W. Like law. God's law. Love always wins. Thank you for that, Father. <clears throat> but myself... I'm gifted, gifted, I was gifted by God to be really good with money and have a very business mind. Not only that, I work great with my hands. I love to build stuff. I just like to do everything because the world is wondrous to me. I love to know how things work, what makes them work, what makes people tick. The wonders and, and everything is awe and wonder. To be like a child. That's why Jesus speaks of that. I believe that's how I'm being shown and felt. Not only do I see it in my mind's eye, I get to feel it, so I get to go there. It's it's a great gift, and I want everyone to have that gift you know to me it's a gift is it something that's given and only I have I don't believe so I believe everyone maybe can come to that if you believe in magic but not how the magic how they want you to think of it as the dark magic as 
as the, it's just a word, you know? It's just the fairy dust. It's a state of mind. And what's wrong with that? If it gets you to that place of wonderment and awe, I love it. That's why I love to see little kids. And they're like, oh, they're so excited. I love that. I can do that. I love that. I found that in me again. Did I ever have it? I did. And that's how children that are born in the hell realm that are born in hell because isn't this all kind of like that in its own way for each individual person and that's what the great thing about being children is because they could take a stick and it could be a sword and all that I don't know if I've ever really done stuff like that but we had an imagination I mean yeah I guess if you had a pet rock or whatever. <laughs> you work with what you've got. And at the end of the day, all we have is our own mind. So whether the body's locked up in a cell somewhere or just in a coma, trapped in its self, just dead, the body's not dead, but just still, but you're trapped in your, just your own head. You could be anywhere in the world. Your body doesn't know the difference because where the mind goes, everything else is there. It's your reality. Close your eyes and take your mind to a beach somewhere. And if you're really in a, in that state and you really are in your imagination, I guess like from a child, it could eventually feel like you're there, like the sun touching your face. It's imagination trapped in your own head, in your own mind, will make it beautiful. for yourself, but you know what? Maybe envision us around there with you in the same state in a sense, but in our own bliss, but it all works together. It all just works together. It's a flow. Love evolving, love flowing. Let's take a different approach and look at it. Whatever gets you there, I believe in fairy tales. And always will. Because there's that hope. There's that feeling as if it's there and you're it in that moment. And that's all we have, isn't it? So if life is just a fantasy, can't you live the fantasy life? Namaste.